How's it going everybody and welcome to another soundproofing video. Today we're going to be talking about something that I find very fascinating and I think is something that will help you in your soundproof studio design and that is how to buy one of those prefabricated sheds. I just learned recently that in Ireland they call them log cabins uh, but it's basically those things that you would find at your hardware store uh, which are already built and they're significantly cheaper than building new and you can just have them delivered to your house and have someone else build it for you and then build your soundproof studio within the shed. So if you're interested in this journey, then I will tell you exactly how this is working. We're actually building one of those studios right now here in Nashville with Henry Thompson, who is the builder for my soundproof studio. And I'm really excited to take you on this journey. This will be part one of hopefully at least two or three part videos as the studio is completed. And uh, today we're going to be talking about the concrete floor and how to beef up the sides of your shed, which are the two main most important components that I think most people overlook when soundproofing. If you are interested in learning more about soundproofing, check out my free soundproofing workshop. That is 40 minutes of in-depth teaching going into how to build a soundproof home recording studio. So if you're on that journey, I highly recommend that resource. It is way better than just scrolling through YouTube for hours and hours and hours. All right. With that said, you can check it out at soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. That's soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. All right, let's dive into this lesson on how to build a soundproof home recording studio in a shed. So I want to start out by talking a little bit about my own studio that I'm in right now and how I originally had wanted to build a shed studio as well. But after doing a ton of research on soundproofing, I came across the same problem over and over again, which was we need a concrete slab as the floor. And why would you build a shed on top of a concrete slab that comes with a built in wood floor deck and then have to completely tear out the wood floor deck. So my builder, Henry, said, let's just build this whole studio from the ground up. It'll probably be better and it will uh, cost about the same. Well, he was right about one of those. It was definitely a better structure than putting a shed on top of a concrete slab, but it was not cheaper. So in this video, I will talk about why maybe this shed design could be great uh, because it's a little bit cheaper than building from the ground up. However, the thing that Henry mentioned about it not being as good of a structure, not as well made, that is a huge thing to think about. If this is something that you're going to have in your life for the next 10 to 20 years, uh, do you want it to be a solid enough structure that it can withstand the wear and tear of time and have it built uh, by a professional, not by some like local company that just throws up sheds for workshops and storing your lawnmower. So keep all that in mind as we continue in this video. So let me show you a little bit of this studio right now that we're building in Nashville. This is for a drummer slash producer. So he needs a studio that is soundproof enough to ideally not bother the neighbors too much when he's playing drums, but also he's going to be growing his studio production business in this space. So he wants to be able to work with clients as well. So this this is probably similar to a lot of you out there on the internet, so hopefully this will show you how this design works. This shed is beautiful. I love the barn design. It's big, so you get this big, beautiful shed put, built on your property uh, for a much cheaper cost than if you hired out a contractor. He had an existing driveway where he put the shed on top, which is in fact a concrete slab. The main problem was that the shed was lopsided because it wasn't leveled properly. So Henry. Thompson went in and did something that I think is pretty genius. The shed had a built-in floor, and so what you needed to do first is you need to remove that floor. So he removed all the plywood and took out all the cross bracing that was holding the plywood up, so we got down to the actual concrete, which is where you want your soundproof studio floor to be. It's going to give you the best soundproofing possible. The wood deck floor that comes with these sheds is a terrible floor for soundproofing and only will cause problems with resonance and things like that. So cutting out that floor is the first step. The next step was that Henry realized that it was sitting on this slab that wasn't even. So what he did first is he leveled out the entire building by scribing the bottom wood around the entire building. He lifted it up using a bunch of different like car lifts essentially. And then he used a laser level to cut out the bottom of the wood so that when it sat back down on the concrete existing concrete slab, it would be 100% level. So for those of you who are thinking about doing this, 
pour a concrete slab first, make sure it's totally level and you won't have to do this crazy process. But Henry is a bit of a genius and figured this out. The next thing that Henry did, which I think is a great idea, is that he actually filled in the existing floor with extra concrete so that the floor was then level and it's adding some more weight to the floor. So this will help with the structure overall. So he poured concrete into the existing uh, building uh, up about a couple of inches to increase the floor soundproofing. The next thing I want to talk about is that these sheds are extremely cheap and flimsy. This means the siding on them is like paper thin. You could easily knock on them. You could probably punch a hole through the side of them. All of this is terrible for soundproofing. So the best way to beef up your sidewalls without having to add a bunch of masonry or something on the outside is to actually add drywall on the inside of your outside walls. So let me explain that a little bit more carefully. You're gonna have existing stud bays in your home built shed, and then you're just gonna take two layers of 5 8 inch drywall, cut them out so they fit inside the stud bays. Remember, this is in between your stud bays. This is not creating a separate wall. This is going into the stud bays, and there's a specific way of doing this. So I wanna show you this diagram here that is in the Roger Weiss book, Home Recording Studio, Build It Like the Pros. I have a link below. Highly recommend this book if you are going down the road of building a soundproof studio. And Rod doesn't really mention this till the end of the book, but I think it's an extremely important point for everyone who is building an existing structures and wants to beef up the existing outside wall. Now for soundproofing, I highly recommend the double wall system that's going to be in this shed. This is what we did in my studio. It's what Henry's going to do in this new drum studio. And the idea here is that we want to make the two layers of drywall on our inside wall match the outside wall of the shed in mass, in weight. So to do that, we can add two more layers of drywall on the the exterior wall on the inside of it to help beef it up so that the mass is now a double wall system with equal mass on both sides of our double wall system. If you're confused about what I'm saying, check out that workshop I was talking about or watch one of my videos on building a soundproof wall and it will make a lot more sense. So let's take a look at this diagram that Roger Weiss has in his book. So this is a cross section and you can see that there is the stud wall up against the existing sheathing of your potential shed. Now in the existing bay, he took two layers of 5 8 inch drywall and screwed them into the existing sheathing. The important thing is to leave a 3 8 inch gap around all of the two layers of drywall that you put into the bay and then put two rows of backer rod and acoustic caulk to seal up around the 5 8 inch drywall. The reason for this is that we want this wall to be 100% airtight and the backer rod and caulk is a great way to create an airtight seal between assemblies. He also says to add an, a one inch cleat, a wood cleat, all the way around the backer rod and caulk around your 5 8 inch drywall. The reason for this is also to just hold that drywall in place and improve the airtight seal around your drywall. So you can see this is a little bit of extra weight, a little bit more in material costs, but it will in the end improve your soundproofing tremendously so that your existing structure is already massive enough to prevent problems down the road when you add in the double walls and everything else. So it is super important. I hope this lesson has shown you that there's two main things to think about when you're doing a home studio shed. The first one is going to be the fact that you need to build on a concrete slab. No ifs and or buts about it is by far the most soundproof and easiest method to get a soundproof floor. Second, you want to make sure that your walls are strong enough, have enough mass to match the two layers of 5 8 inch drywall that you will be building on your inside walls. This will ensure that your STC ratings are what you hope to achieve with your soundproof recording studio. All right, I hope this video was helpful. I hope it gave you some new ideas about how to build a studio in an existing shed. And I hope that it has led you down a path to getting closer to your final design and build. 
If you are on this journey, please check out the soundproofing workshop I have. It is available at soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. It'll be 40 minutes of in-depth teaching. You can watch it right away and start designing and building your own soundproof home recording studio. Until next week, I will see you all later. And thanks so much for watching on YouTube or listening on our podcast. And I wish you the best of luck in building your soundproof home recording studio. Thank you.